Salud. Salud. Yeah. And it's light. Mm. I don't feel like it's too, mm. like too alcoholic. Yeah, we're gonna have another glass. Yeah, sure. Maybe the bottle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here with my father, Thomas Hoffman, in our hometown, Miami, Florida. Today, I'm super excited to go into a brand new Indian restaurant called Charcoal Indian Cuisine. It's right here, right behind us, and they're famous for Indian street food. They have tons of different things I've never tried before, like lamb buns, shrimp momos, and I think they have something called like spicy chili, uh, corn chili. So different things unique I've never things. tried, unique things. We're gonna try like 15 different things. Are you ready? You hungry? Only 15? 15 is a lot. We're used to it, right? <laughs> Let's right. have fun. Mask on. All right. Let's go. So this is Charcoal Restaurant. As you can see, very uh, Maharashtrian style. The owners are actually from Mumbai. The chef is from Hyderabad and the waitress is from Manipur, so from Northeast. And she said they're gonna make some things a little spicy because they know I like spice. They've watched my videos and they're, they're gonna make them a little, little spicier. Because obviously, you know, Northeast, she's from Manipur, which is next to Nagaland. Mm -hmm. And there, they're famous for like their super spicy food. Like, you think I'll survive? No, you won't survive. You oh, have some of stuff. No, I, I do not make it so spicy. Okay. But yeah, so we're eating like 15 different dishes. He's gonna send out a few different appetizers, mainly street food. So I asked him for that lamb bun because I know I really wanted to try it. Mm -hmm. Shrimp momos. A lamb bun? A lamb bun. Yeah. Oh, okay, like a white bun. Like, like a bun, yeah. Oh, okay, good, yeah. I like that. It's different, it's different. It's more like Indo-Chinese, you know? And then, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, and they also have a bar here, and they have wine, but they have Indian wine. They have Sula Winery, which is like the first uh, Indian winery that was made in Nashik, which mm -hmm. is an area, it's about a two hour, three hour drive from Mumbai, mm -hmm. and that is like the Napa Valley of India. I think it's the only wine area in India, but that's the wine we're gonna try. Okay. Right? Okay. You hungry? I'm dying, I'm like, yeah. really dying. And, and this is actually, hungry. I think this is like my first time actually eating at a restaurant. So, you know, after the opening up here in Florida. You've been at like two or three, right? Yeah, so everything's separated. So we have like six feet in between, you know, the table. If you go up to the bathroom, you gotta put on the mask, obviously. Yeah. If not, you stay here, you sit down, they clean everything when, you know, when customers leave or enter. And unfortunately, they're still like taking time for people to go back out into public. And people aren't just like running to restaurants, right? All right, David, this is the Sula wine from Nashik, uh, the Napa Valley of India. No, I'm, I'm getting used to this new way of uh, getting your menu, you know, the, the menu, nobody handles the menu anymore. So the barcodes, you get used to it. You put your camera and you go on the internet and uh, and hopefully you have a good connection. All right, so uh, here we go, Indian wine. Indian wine. Sula. Mmm, that's right. It's different, right? It's actually very pleasant. It's nice. It's a little fruity. Mm-hmm. Got a little fruit to it, but I like it. Oh, wow, a little earthy too. It mm -hmm. tastes like mm -hmm. the ground. Mineral, oh, mineral, nice, mineral. Yeah, I actually love Shiraz. Shiraz is like my favorite grape. But don't drink too much, cause I won't. I won't. You know, we we have a bottle, off. but we're only gonna have a glass. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and sure. right here we have <laughs> our sure. first Indian street food, which is dahi puri. If you guys don't know what dahi puri is, that's basically yogurt with coriander, a few different things. There's chickpeas inside. There's potato. Ready? Ready. Let's get with one. The hands, no? yeah, with the hands, just pop it. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm. Oh man, this one's loaded. Mm. Mm. I like the spice level. Love the tamarind chutney. Super sweet. Not spicy though. Not spicy. Mm. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. I love how. Mm. Creamy and crunchy, just no spice. It does have a like a spicy mint like chutney. Mini, minimum, mm. but it's super, super good. fresh, I refreshing. Mean, I can eat this forever. Yeah, but we have a lot of food. I know. The other day, my wife and I did a, and I did a, we did 50. 150? No, just 50. Oh, God. <laughs> but you can do a loaded like that. You wanna eat it? I'm gonna eat one like that. God, this is gonna be like so much. This one. Oh. There's more coming, David. And here we go. Chicken lollipops, which are basically drumsticks, deep fried, spicy, and next to it is like a Szechuan sauce, you said? Right, right? Szechuan, yes. And then over here we have the shrimp momos, and then we also have 
Ah, this is like a Kashmiri chutney, Ooh. what should you say? Spicy, it looks spicy. That one is spicy, and this is like a sesame one. Okay, we should oh, try it. Like one and one. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. I can lift it like that. Oh. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> A little spicy. This one's just more chilies. More chilies, no? Mm. But you really like it, like, mm. you go out of it. I mean, to be honest, I'll have a little more. <laughs> just a little more. And now I'm gonna just dip this in here. Guys, I cannot tell you how yummy this is. And it's not spicy, it's more like a, like a spiced oil. It's spiced, oil. but not, but exactly. I'm really enjoying the Shiraz. It's so different. Great. Salud. And it's light. Mm. I don't feel mm. like it's too, mm. like too alcoholic. Yeah, we can have another glass. Yeah, sure. Maybe the bottle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is because I really need some of this chutney. I'm just gonna pour it in like that. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! It's the motion. Complexity of flavors, huh? Mm -hmm. It's always great. And this this mint chutney is amazing. I mean, it's delicious. I really want to like leave some space because we have so many things to try. We have so much food. So let's move this to the side. Yeah, I'm gonna finish that later though. Of course. And here we have. I had this. I bit into this. So you bit that one. Mine. That's yours. <laughs> should be mine. He, he couldn't wait. He couldn't wait. <laughs> so we eat it with this, right? With the chili. Yeah, I was gonna dip into the spice. This is probably spicy, spicy, no? Oh, it's super spicy. Woo! Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah, <laughs> spicy chutney. Whoa. Mm. It's basically, it's fried chicken, right? Mm -hmm. Spice level? I say like five, six. Five, six. Not like but crazy no, spicy. No, but spicy enough. Yeah, and I love the chicken and the deep fried. It's like super deep fried, but at the same time, we have this. This is juicy chicken inside, so it burst out the juiciness of it. Next up, we got the bell pudding. Oh, this is like a nice salad. Mm -hmm. It's actually refreshing, no? Exactly. Nice, refreshing, crunchy. Mm. Some chives in here. I get some of this salmon chutney. Mm -hmm. Like that. Oh, it's so good. Is that supposed to be for this? No. No, but you mix it anyways. That was, that was actually pissed the most up, but I oh, really? it here. Yeah. Super crunchy, delicious, refreshing. This is always a great snack on the streets of Mumbai. And this is a snack also? This is a snack. This is a snack? I mean, this is a, I've like, never Whoa. seen this before. Obviously, this is more like Indo-Chinese, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Mmm. Sure. Nice soft bun. Mm, love the lamb. The, the flavors are so complex. It's like 15, 20 different spices. I don't know how many they use. Mm -hmm. The creamy mm. mint sauce on top, right? And then in the middle, they have some onions, they have carrots. What I've noticed is that the bun actually tastes very similar to like Italy, which is like steamed rice, yeah. steamed rice cakes. I'm gonna eat this whole thing, it's too good. Me too, I'm gonna put some of the spice on top though. Mm. I don't need any more spice. I think we have to move on to the main courses. That was basically mm. the appetizers. <laughs> All right, guys. So our next two plates are this is tandoori chicken. So it's chicken with bone, mm -hmm. right? And over here we have chicken tikka. Tikka means boneless. So let's uh, try the chicken tikka first. Chicken tikka. I always love chicken tikka. Mm -hmm. mm. How do they do this? I mean, it's basically marinated with some masala, and it's um, barbecue chicken. But the consistency of it, it just falls apart. Mm -hmm. It's so soft, you know? Mm. I love a chicken tikka. It's always a, a winner in every single restaurant. Over here we have tandoori chicken. Is there anything that doesn't have spice in India? It doesn't exist, right? Sweets. <laughs> Sweets won't have spice. I don't know how they do it. Well, it's the tandoor, so it's the actual thing that yeah, they're baking in, it's just different and they put oh, it on It's just skewer. amazing. <laughs> this comes out amazing. No, it does. I'm, I'm genuinely saying that. 
Okay guys, our next two dishes are sage paneer, which is basically spinach paneer, cottage cheese, and then over here we have butter chicken. And we have garlic naan, love naan. You have to have naan with anything that's like creamy, buttery dish, right? Okay. So that you could do either two things. You okay. use a fork and a knife, or you can get no, a piece of bread. I need to do this. Piece of naan, and just and go then, in. And I then you go in with your hands. Like that, boom. Okay. So I just grab it. But grab it. I love grabbing like this, look at this. Big I can't grab it properly, I have to learn. This is how the pros do it. Hey. Mm. Oh, the creamy stuff is amazing. Huh? Mm. It's a pure veggie dish. I love how the cottage cheese is like in big like squares. And over here, mm -hmm. let's grab this. And this uh, butter chicken is more orange, less red. Okay. I'm hungry. I had no idea what it was, but she just started this pouring it. It looked so like, funny. It looked like a little tic tac, or not a tic tac, but like a, mm. like a mint, yeah. You know what? It looked like a marshmallow. Like I was a marshmallow. Eat the marshmallow. And it just started expanding. <laughs> it's amazing. Here, you're really hot. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Not too spicy today. Not so spicy. Okay. So then, right here we have Malai Kofta. Yeah. And the one next to it is. Nagisi Kofta. Nagisi Kofta, which is basically. Beefed wrapped eggs mm -hmm. with malai kofta on the bottom. Wow. And then over here we have Kashmiri Palau. So it's a rice dish from Kashmir. And over here we have lamb shank. Wow. So creamy. It's creamy, crunchy. Stop with the egg. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So complex. I've never had this dish before, right? I love the hard boiled egg. It's almost like minced meat that's been fried around the egg. And then you throw on. It's like a meatloaf with egg. That, exactly. But it's, it's a meatloaf, but it's a very, very juicy meatloaf. Usually, meatloaf tends to be dry. It's like juicy, really, uh, right? Mm hmm. I think I just found my new favorite dish. <laughs> Do you know if the kids eat this in India? Like when they're young, or like Melina, you know, that age, they just start yeah, eating, they or very eat. soft. Mm. God, remember, this is what you get at home. It's addictive, as I always say. So what do you think? I love this. It's an amazing veggie dish. Mm. You know, the interesting thing is, you think to think in, in, the, in the West, the veggies are boring and this and that. But in India, the veggies are amazing. They're vibrant. Well, you've never been to India, but it just seems that way. Because they also make it like really creamy, lots of butter, lots of milk. Mmm. Jeez. Oh, I love this one. So basically it's like a, it's a lot of food, but I can't leave I it. Know. I know. I'm mm. almost done. I mean, I'm like full. But I can go, I can keep eating because it's addictive. You know, just eat, eat, eat. I mean, the good thing is that, you know, obviously the portions, they're, they're moderate, you know, they're not huge. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of things. Usually this would be like for five, six, seven people. But we also still have Oh, okay. right here, Kashmiri Pulao. You can just try that. Yeah. So maybe what you do is I give you some rice, right? You can try it alone over there. And then over here, we'll put some sauce, mm -hmm. right? That's the best part about the, the, the rice and the sauces. Mm. Mm. Incredible. Even better. Even more complex. Mm -hmm. and, and for Kashmir, what they do is they put like uh, like dried fruits and stuff. So they change it up the, in terms of that. A surprise that. Oh. You got this guy right here. I'm just gonna take yeah. a tiny piece. Yeah, cut a piece just to try it. Wow. Yeah. And it's in like this gravy. Oh, just cut it right here. Yeah, uh, that's it. If you guys don't know, my favorite meat of all time is lamb. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. So you put in your mouth, it like just falls mm. apart. Yeah, super buttery. I like the, the sauce. I'm just gonna a little more in here. For that mm. nice gravy, nice and light brownish gravy. I mean, everything has been amazing. Can I have another piece of what of this? Take it's it. good. It's Take good. it. Take whatever you want. We just have dessert left, but 
It's a lot of food. It's uh, it's and too good to let it go. Like and this that. is like nothing compared to the menu because they have biryani, they have so many other Everything. street foods we could have tried. And here we go. This is dessert. Gulab Jamun, staple in India. You're gonna have it at all yeah. times of the day, <laughs> basically. And this is Shahi Tukra. Shahi Tukra. And, right, yeah. and what is Shahi Tukra? Shahi is, we call it rich. Rich. Shahi rich. is rich and Tukra mm. means it's mm. white. Okay, and this is bread. Yes, it's a fried bread. Fried oh. bread. Fried oh, in wow. Ghee, in a ghee? Yes. <laughs> they had to, they had to. In a what? In ghee. Oh, okay. And then the gulab jamun is basically uh, yeah. all purpose flour, balls, yes. so Rich. solid milk. So they make it, so they cook the milk until it becomes really solid, and then you also have like a uh, cream on the side, right? Yes, that's uh, after. Mm. Reduced exactly. milk, exactly. Oh my god, that's amazing. So, I guess we'll, we'll like this. Mm. So like gooey, it like oozed out. But it's just the complexity again of flavors, you know. Mm. There's a 20 flavors in there. I love how, how mushy it is. It's basically almost like a donut, like a, mm -hmm. little, a little donut in these down with this incredible, incredible. Is that pistachio? Did I yeah, it's pistachio. pistachio. Look at this. This is like the best. This mm. Oh my god. And I'll just try this one. So, deep fried bread. Deep fried bread. Never mentioned. No. No. Mm hmm. This is the sweetest thing I ever ate. Do you think so? It's crunchy, it's filling. The best thing is that it absorbs. It's like a sponge. This, yeah, it's like a sponge. It literally is like a sponge. Last bite. Mm. All right guys, so that is our Indian food experience here, our charcoal Indian cuisine in South Miami. Wow, gotta tell you, everything blew me away. Uh, the most unique stuff was obviously the Indian street for the beginning, the appetizers that you probably never see, like shrimp momos. What else do we have? I mean, the buns were amazing, lamb buns. Mm -hmm. I mean, the bell booty, you can never go wrong with that. What was your favorite thing? Oh, from all the dishes, no, the creamy. The creamy part. The creamy the part? The, the, uh, oh, yeah. the, uh, so like the malakofta. The malakofta, that, yeah. The malakofta, yeah. For me, the malakofta, obviously the butter chicken's a staple. Yeah. Always go with that. Oh, and definitely try the Sula wine, Sula winery. From we didn't like India. it, right? Mm. So guys, if you're ever in South Miami, Florida, definitely come to Charcoal Indian Cuisine. You will love the food. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content, and bring me some more wine. <laughs> <laughs>